Hi, and welcome back to UncoverFraud.com. My name is David Malamud, and I'm a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert of 20 years. What I want to talk to you today about is how math can identify fraud. I'm interested in numbers. In fact, I tell my kids all the time that numbers tell the story. Benford's law, also known as the Newcom Benford law, is the law of the first digit. What it is, is it's an observation about the frequency distribution of leading digits in many real life sets of numerical data. The law states that in many naturally occurring collections of numbers, the leading digit is likely to be small. For example, in sets that obey the law, the number one appears as the leading significant digit about 30% of the times, while nine appears as the leading significant digit less than 5% of the time. If the digits were distributed uniformly, they would each occur about 11.1% of the time. And that's not including zero, that's from one to nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Most naturally occurring data sets like finance and accounting records, follow Benford's law. This rule allows you to predict how often each number, one through nine, will appear as the first non-zero digit in a data set. Benford's law can be used to analyze financial data and identify red flags that may result in being fraud. If the data doesn't look anything like the distribution predicted by Benford's law, it may mean the numbers have been manipulated. Benford's law can be tricky. It can be a tricky concept to grasp at first. So here are some basic things to remember. It relies on the idea that the distribution of digits in multi-digit natural numbers is not random. Instead, it follows a predictable pattern. It applies only to natural numbers. And the definition for natural numbers and non-natural numbers in a fraud examination are different than they would be in math. So don't let that throw you off. Here's how I define them for Benford's law. Natural numbers are those numbers that are not ordered in a particular numbering scheme and are not human generated or generated from a random number system. Non-natural numbers are designed systematically to convey information that restricts the natural nature of the number. For example, postal codes and telephone numbers. Let's say, for example, that you have a three-digit payment amount of, say, XXX. What are the odds that the first digit would be three? Well, you might think that the odds are one and nine. In other words, there is an equal chance that the first digit would be a one, a two, a three, et cetera, up to nine. But Benford's law says that the odds are not random. In fact, there is a 12.5% chance that the first digit will be a three there is a 30.1% chance that the first digit will be a one. Fraud examiners use Benford's law tests on natural numbers like payment amounts. The theory is that if a fraudster submits a fake invoice for payment, they're not gonna submit invoices for $100 or $200. They're gonna go for the big bang and submit invoices for $900 or $800. If you do that enough times, it upsets the natural order of the way numbers should occur according to Benford. For example, if you run a Benford law test on your monthly payments and you find the first digit was nine in say 35% of the payments, that's an anomaly. Benford's law says that nine should be the first digit only 4.6% of the time. No test is foolproof, but Benford's law does provide an extra method for fraud examiners to test data for potentially fraudulent activity. If you wanna to try to do this, take some random numbers and test to see if the probability that I've told you about today works, and it does. Remember, it's not an indication of fraud, it's a red flag of fraud. Again, my name is David Malamud, and I am a forensic accountant and fraud investigation expert. To find out more about me and the services we offer, please visit uncoverfraud.com. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like it below and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you again. God bless.